Good evening, Ventures. Grimmy Place here. Normally, I would be um, uploading arcade games, claw machines, but run from technical difficulties getting those videos started. So I have for you here today a Pokemon TCG opening, where I'm going to be comparing a Elite Trainer Box that I got from Walmart on clearance, and it's a Breakpoint Elite Trainer Box. Opening up, comparing to what we find inside to some Dollar Tree booster packs. Now that it only paid a dollar per pack, and I have some Team Up, more Team Up, more Team Up, more Team Up, more Team Up, some Lost Thunder booster packs. I paid a dollar per pack, and some Celestial Storm, and some Forbidden Light booster packs. Now these come three per pack. You get three cards. You're not guaranteed a rare or a reverse hollow, but you can also pull any card from these booster packs. So let's see what we get inside. Now you do, I think, get more bang for your buck out of the Elite Trainer Box because you get more than just cards. You get card sleeves, you get energies, you get, you get guaranteed more things to help out with that when you're just starting out in Pokemon. So first, I think I'm going to open up this Elite Trainer Box, which I'm now wishing I brought scissors. Let the rage out. Let the rage out. And I chose this Mega Gyarados one. So they have on clearance. It comes with this outer card sleeve with this book inside. Sorry, that was loud. And in the book, you get different cards that you get in the set and different things like that. Yeah, you get the set. This is an older set. It's an X and Y set. And you also get this really nice tin, which you can keep all of your things inside. So you get also inside of here a Pokemon Breakpoint booster pack. I think they're all Pokemon Breakpoint booster packs. And you get 10 cards in each one of these booster packs as well. And you are guaranteed a Reverse Hollow and a Rare inside. You also receive with this more than just cards, these really cool card sleeves. Make sure we can pack in there. These are really cool card sleeves. Some energy cards, a stack of energy cards. Now when you're first starting out, if you actually want to play Pokemon TCG, these can be really fun and really in handy. If you're opening these random booster packs, you're booster packs, you're not really guaranteed to get these. You also get some damage counting dice. Focus camera. Even more, I guess, I'm not really sure. What, oh, these are dividers, so you can organize your box. Now, here on these are cage, you know, I will not be keeping any of the code cards from my shelf. Self. I will always be sharing code cards with you. So there is the first code card. If you want to claim that, you can go right ahead. And you also get these damage counters. So I'm going to start off opening the booster packs from Breakpoint first. So I'm going to open up all of these booster packs and show you the cards we got inside. Now so this is a X and Y set, so there's a card trick with these. Here's the first code card. And it is a white and green card, which means I think hollow back hollow or better which is a pretty good start when we start with but there's the code so we go one one two three one two and our first card is oh i think i did the trick wrong i did i got a mega gyarados ex as my first pull that is an awesome pull to start off with. That's a really cool card. So I'm going to sleeve that. I'm going to put it over here. I'll show you all my cards that I got today again. 
and a recap at the end, at the end of my video. Maybe I won't leave it up. <laughs> you know, I won't. I'll leave it eventually. I also pulled a Roki. The Mimigo Gyarados' attacks that I pulled were 240. HP. It also has Blast Geyser. Blast Geyser is its EX move. I also pulled an Electabuzz. A Ferro Seed. A Esper. A Star You. A Dunsparce. A Luxio. I really love Luxio as a Pokemon. It's a really cool Pokemon. Palpitoad. And a Gibble. As a reverse hollow. Hope you guys can see Sorry, that in my camera. I don't here. know how to help with that. Here are other things you can try. Thanks, Google. That's just from our first pack. Second pack, here's the code card. Do one, two, three. One, two. Hopefully do the card trick right this time. Not mess it up. I got a Latata. Numal. Another Electabuzz. So that's our first duplicate. Fire Seed. Oh, <laughs> not looking too good. There's two duplicates in a row. Blitzel, Cloyster, Cricketune, Stantler, a Reverse Hollow Radicate, and a Drapion as my regular rare. Now I am filming this with my cell phone camera. So the qualities of these videos probably won't be the best. Eventually, hopefully, I'll get better filming equipment that I can film better videos for you guys. Let's go on to our next, our next pack. Here is the code card again. One, two, three. One, two. And our first card is a Luxray. Oh, I did the trick wrong. Whoopsie. That was our rare. A Reverse Hollow Froakie. It's a pretty cool card. Yep. Did the trick wrong again. Whoops. Cricketune, I think. Wait. No, Cricketot. 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 Another Rattata. I love the artwork on that Corsola card. These breakpoint cards actually have some really adorable artwork. Skrelp. Petalo. Bayleaf. Electivire. And trainer card here, Psychic Third Eye. Yeah, so I will at the end of this video go through all my show you all my reverse hollows again and all my hollow rares and anything I get that is not just a normal regular Pokemon card. So so far, I mean, we've had a pretty good pull already from the Breakpoint Booster Packs. I can't really complain too too much. Here again, we have the code card, which again I'm giving all these codes to you. I'm never going to keep them. I'm always going to give them away to you guys. You can use those code cards to go online with Parent Guardian's permission and get a free Pokemon Booster Pack on the um, TCG, on the website shown right up there. Hopefully you guys can see that. I would not mess up the card trip now, Grimmy. Not mess it up. Okay. We have another Cricketot. 
another scroll. Oop, nope. Yep, no, I'm right. Yeah, I'm right. Sorry about that. A star you, Scroopy, Petalil, Suno Wudo, Heatmore. That's a really cool Pokemon. I don't have one of them in my collection yet, actually. Swana. Sigilith. Now, I do have a Sigilith GX card in my collection. This is going to go really well for me with that. And a Clefable. So we did get only one Reverse Hollow and a rare Clefable. So I've only pulled one EX card. It's a really cool EX card, but so I've only pulled one. Let's hope of the Cold Blade Trainer box, so they, they have better pulls than that. Pokemon isn't always about the pulls you get, it's just about having fun and... Any people of any age can love Pokemon. You don't have to be a certain age to love Pokemon. So there's the next code card for you. Hope I don't mess up the card trick. Again. Three and two. Uh, three and two for me. Three and two. Timpole. Clefairy. Chikorita. Shinx. So now we have a Shinx, a Deluxe Ray, and a... um. Luxio, so we have all three evolutions. A Numel, a Delinquent Trainer card, a Great Ball, a Perugly, a Hone Edge. I actually did use a Hone Edge in my um, actual playthrough of Pokemon X and Y. I used a Hone Edge, a Dublade, and all of that. And a Zeb Strika as our rare. So we only have we only have three Pokemon packs left from our first Elite Trainer box. And before we go on to the Dollar Tree booster pack. So we did the sorry, ignore any noise off to the side. Chikorita, Baroki, another Clefairy, Growlithe, Drowsy, Luxio, Palpitoad, Potion, Reverse Hollow Drapion, and a seismitoad. And we did pull a palpitoad earlier. That would kind of go really well together. Put my reverse hollow over here. My reverse hollow and better pile. Sorry, we only pulled that one really good ultra rare card. Hope we only have two packs left. Let's hope we don't pull just one ultra rare in this entire opening. I will put all these cards in my binder. I have a binder where I keep my collection. And all these cards will go in a binder at the end of the video. Another code card. Another solid green. One, two, three. One, two. It's a ducklet. Trubbish. Shelter. Drowsy. Hush, kitty cat. Spritzy. Hush. Sorry, my cats want to say hello. I can't quite see what that is. What is that? A special energy. That's kind of a cool card. A Pokemon catcher. A Nuzleaf. This is really cool. It's a reverse hollow rare of a of a reverse hollow. Let me get that a little bit closer so you guys can see that better. And a Trevenant as a rare. So we really pulled two rares on that pack. That's kind of cool. This is our last Breakpoint Booster Pack before we go over to our Sun and Moon set. Sorry, ignore my mother. Finally, another green and white card. And here's the code card for you because I'm never going to keep these. They're always for you. Okay. Not miss the card trick up on this one, Alex. A Phantom. Rubbish. 
Temple, C Dot, Shelder, another Electivire, a Psychic Third Eye Trainer card, Dunsparce, Ferris Seed as a Reverse Hollow, and there we go. We have a Dark Rye EX. That's our second ultra rare Pokemon card that we have pulled from the Elite Trainer Box. So I'll show you off both of the ultra rare cards that I pulled from this first part of the opening. And that is the Dark Rye EX with, there you go, hope you can see that. And my Mega Gyarados EX. I am so super happy with these cards. This Mega Gyarados card is beautiful. And actually the Dark Rye card is also really beautiful. Hope you guys can get a really good look at those. Those will both have a nice prominent place in my collection. So now I'll show you all the reverse hollows that we pulled before moving on to our Dollar Tree booster packs. These are all the cards that I did pull from today's video. So I'm going to go in my binder of awesome. But yeah. I'm going to show you the names. I'm just going to show you a really quick close-up view. Oh, that's not a reverse hollow. What are you doing there? Get out of that pile. Neither are you. What are you? I got the wrong pile. Knowing me, I probably did. Oh, well. They're already mixed into the madness that is this huge pile of cards over here, so. Might not get a review of all the reverse hollows. So now I'm going on to the Dollar Tree booster packs and you only get three cards per one of these but they could be anything like you're not guaranteed a rare you're not guaranteed really anything from these cards okay, and the best card is always going to be that middle card so I have a gibble to the card tricks I moved it around an energy card and an execute see on that pack I did not get a rare For some reason, these Dollar Tree booster packs are always really hard to open. Don't know why. So I'm gonna do the, and you don't even get a code card with these. You don't get a code card. You just get one of these, like Pokemon ad cards. Okay, Metatite, Energy Recycle, and a Spoink. Now I have pulled on my own personal time before I started uploading videos to the channel a Hollow. Um, the Hollow Rainbow Rare from these Dollar Tree booster packs. So you can get secret rares, hyper rares, anything that's in this set, anything that's in the Lost Thunder set, you can pull in these, which is really cool. Full arts, you name it. So I pulled a Cyndaquil, a Ninjask, and a Reverse Hollow Beauty 5. It's a really pretty cool card, actually. I don't think I have that one in my set either yet. So, the next thing we're doing is another Lost Thunder. So we went from X and Y to Sun and Moon, and I pulled a Broxish Fairy Charm and. A Alolan Persian Rare. Or Uncommon, I can't quite. I think it's a rare. So far, the only thing that we've had, we only had two Ultra Rares out of what we pulled so far today. But you know what? I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining one little bit. We've got some pretty cool, those two Ultra Rares we pulled are really cool Ultra Rares. So I'm really thankful. Do the card trick again and what I just opened was a oh, not a break point um another last thunder okay a larvitar a psyduck and a tauros as a kid I was always torn between whether gold duck or hunter 
were my favorite Pokemon as a kid when I loved when I first started Pokemon. My first Pokemon game I ever had was Pokemon Red for my the Game Boy. And my favorite Pokemon game of all time is still has to be Pokemon Gold. There's a lot I have a love in my heart for that game. I will always love that game. And we're opening up our first team up booster pack. These are all kind of intermingled, so I'm not quite sure what we're exactly gonna pull. Next, we have a Bronzor, a Pupitar, and a Clef Key. Now, for all of these Dollar Tree booster packs, all I paid for each booster pack was a dollar. For this Elite Trainer box, I think I paid twenty-four on clearance. So you have to think about what's best for you personally, what you want to get. If you're just starting out, the Elite Trainer Box does come with some pretty good things in it. If you're collecting them to play, actually play the TCG, I have to think personally I would give it to the Elite Trainer Box just because you have the things you actually need to actually play the game. But if you're just collecting Pokemon cards to collect Pokemon cards like me, um, the Elite, you can never go wrong with the Dollar Tree Booster Packs because you can literally pull anything and I've gotten some really good pulls from these Dollar Tree Booster Packs. Of course, I'm not getting any today, but that's life. Staryu, Flaffy, and a Litten. I have to admit, Litten is probably my favorite of the Gen 7 starters. So, I love cats. That's, that's why. I think I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I can't tell yet which one is gonna be my favorite from the new Pokemon um, Sword and Shield. Like, I kind of like just for the basics of the design, I kind of like Score Bunny the least. Just because, just because he looks so much like kind of like Lizard and Torture kind of the way. It's kind of like the same kind of thing. I'm, I'm hoping it's not another firefighting type. Just because we've already had that. Don't go wrong, I'm not hating on Score Bunny. I'm not. Just, I think, like, I like a bunch of the design of Sobble more, but I always have a place for water types in my heart. So that's probably why. I'm going to save some time. I'm not going to go through the card trick. I'm just going to show you what I got. Mankey, Pinsir, and Energy. I don't want this video to be, first video to be super long. Mareep. Charmander, sorry, move that better for you. Charmander, Tentacruel. We're going on to a Celestial Storm booster pack. Shuppet, Trico, and a Fisherman Trainer card, which I don't have in my collection yet, so that's really cool, actually. Sorry, I just can't see it, but my table is a mess right now. <laughs> okay. I have over here a C dot, a man cargo, man cargo, and an energy. Same one as before. Going on to the Forbidden Light booster pack. We have a Magnemite, a Skrelp, and a Lady Trainer card. So, so far, not no crazy pulls from the Dollar Tree Booster Packs, but you know, you and some, you lose some. And we still have many more, couple more packs to go. We still have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, eight booster packs left to go. So, you never know. Never give up hope. Don't be a pessimist, you know. Never give up hope. You never know what you can pull from these. I can get the booster back open. I can get the razor again. I'm going to get scissors. Give up. I'm going to get the scissors. Hope I don't actually cut open. I think the scissors useless. There we are. There we go. Oh no, it's bent now. 
Burfru, Lit Leo, and a fire type energy. There we go. That one opened nice and easy for us. We have a Noibat, a NK, and a Halucha. Actually, really like his ashes, Halucha, from the anime. I think he's an adorable Pokemon. I'm not, I don't want to bend the cards. I don't want to bend them a little bit. Hopefully I don't have an ultra rare. Froki. Krogunk. And Diggersby. Diggersby. Sorry, I have to say that in that way. Probably because of the anime again. If you watch the anime, that's how um, Pokemon, I think, he's a poacher or a trapper. That's how his Diggersby sounds. It's like Diggersby. Sorry, more bad Pokemon sounding names. Oh, this pack had a duplicate. We have a Cubone, a Uroki, and a Hucha. Let's see what we get in this one. A Chansey, a Milk Tank, and a Energy. Pulling a lot of energies. Normally it's surprising. You don't pull that many. I don't really pull that many energies out of these packs. Here we go. That one opened nice for us without bending the card. Here we have Pachirisu, Pop, Pop, Pop Leo, and a Fluffy. Normally, every time I've opened up these Dollar Tree booster packs, I've always personally found an ultra rare or better in them. But maybe not this time. Maybe not because I'm on camera. But Trumbeak, Mareep, and a Chinchow. Second to last booster pack of the video. Energy. Wow, buffet and a Marini. Any of you guys watch the anime? I'm currently trying to get caught up on Netflix of the um, the Sun and Moon anime. No spoilers, please. And we have Energy, Clamp Pearl. I think it's a rare, and a C dot. So no ultra rare pull from the Pokemon Dollar tree booster packs this time, but I have pulled hyper rares and ultra rares from them before. This is just an unlucky pull. I'm kind of buying a lot from a local Dollar Tree. Maybe it's kind of got the bottom of the barrel. You never know. But overall, if you're just starting out with Pokemon cards, like this is your first time ever buying them, you're starting into collecting them, I recommend going with at least one trainer box because it gives you a place to store your items, to also get you store your Pokemon cards in, if you don't want to buy a binder, or if you want to sleeve them up, or you just want to keep you know, your commons in here, it gives you a place to, to store some cards. And it also comes with these really cool sleeves and these dice over here. So you do get a lot of bang for your buck, I do personally believe, out of the dollar for booster packs as well. Because you can get anything out of those packs. I was just unfortunate today, didn't get a really great pull out of them. But next time, who knows, I may pull another rainbow rare. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Thank you so much. Keep doing what you do. If you love Pokemon, don't anyone tell you you're too young for Pokemon or too old for Pokemon or something only for little kids. Keep doing what you love to do and have a great rest of your day.